From Dear Portugal Gang to the Bime, this is my review of the Domios 10 kilogram weighted vest from Decathlon. Let's check it out. Tastes good, tastes good, tastes good, tastes good. Wicked. It's Portuguese good. All right, before we get started, I noticed that many of you who enjoy my content still haven't gotten around to subscribing. It costs you nothing to subscribe, but it really, really helps me out. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Go on, smash it. And if you don't... That's ignorant. Right, let's get into it. So, several of my uh, eagle-eyed subscribers uh, noticed that uh, if for the, about the last week in my videos, some of my videos, not all of them, uh, I've been wearing a weighted vest. So yeah, very well spotted to you guys who did spot that. And um, if you've been following the channel, you know that uh, every day I do a minimum of 20,000 steps. Um, often I get closer to uh, 30,000, but it's certainly a minimum of 20,000. And I've been doing that for about three and a half or four months or something now. And um, I mentioned uh, in my previous update on the uh, progress with that 20,000 steps that I kind of started to plateau um, in terms of weight loss. I think the first couple of months I uh, lost something like eight kilograms per month, which is obviously pretty amazing. And I hadn't actually started out with the intention really, or the focus being on losing weight. That was just sort of a welcome, a welcome side effect or a welcome benefit as it were. Um, but my fitness has been really improving. But yeah, I've noticed in the last month that it kind of has gone down to like five kilograms and now it looks like it's going to be four. So I'm hitting a kind of a plateau and uh, the walking um, was getting a lot easier. Um, so, um, obviously lots of ways that we can, um, you know, get through our plateaus. Um, when it comes to weight loss, the obvious one is, uh, reducing your calorie intake. That's not something I want to do. I'm eating about 2000 calories per day and I'm pretty happy with that. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. Um, and, uh, I'm, anyway, that's not something I want to do right now. Um, and uh, one of the reasons I took on this challenge is because I don't really want to diet too heavily. Um, I've already cut out dairy, I've cut out uh, processed food, and I've cut out sugar, and um, I don't really snack and that kind of thing. So I, you know, anything more is just going to be taking away from just my enjoyment of eating. So I don't want to do that, guys. The other thing, um, if ex if uh, walking is your exercise, like mine, you can increase the pace. Listen, I already walk fast enough that if I increase my pace any more, I'd be starting to jog. Jogging is something I'd like to do in the future, but I'm still about 20 kilos overweight. I'm about 98, 97, 98 kilos at the moment. I've cut down from 121, but I've still got about 20 kilos to go until I'm really um, at a weight where I'm comfortable uh, running or jogging. I've got rugby knees and rugby hips, guys, and um, I don't want to cause myself an injury. So I'm very happy where I am exercise-wise. Um, the other thing, of course, would be to increase the step count. I'm doing a minimum of 20,000 and usually above 25,000, closer to 30, so that there's nothing there. I don't want to increase the time either. So um, the obvious way is to increase the weight. So the funny thing is, guys, um, for about a week, I tried with a normal backpack with some weights in it, 10 kilogram, I think I had 11 or 12 kilograms worth of weights in it. But anyway, that was fine. But um, I think I mentioned in a video that, um, the weight is not like um, evenly distributed on your body. You can really feel it. Um, it's And I was worried about the bag breaking and, and I think a normal backpack wouldn't last very long. I looked at rucking um, backpacks, but they're like super, super expensive for decent ones. And, um, you know, in the future, I, I may um, be willing to invest three or 400 euros in proper rucking kit. But for now, this bag was uh, 50 euros. So I feel like this can be like my sort of introduction into it. And um, yeah, the other thing about the rucking backpacks is you still end up with that weight on your back. Although I believe they tend to put it a bit higher up onto your shoulders maybe, which may be more comfortable, I don't know. But I quite like having some of the weight on my front, which is what the vest does for me, okay? Now, um, this is a 10 kilogram vest. So yeah, 50 euros. Why is it, um, it's obviously it's a lot cheaper than uh, many of the vests that you can buy at Amazon. It's definitely not the cheapest. It's probably about middle of the road. Um, but you don't get, for example, adjustable straps, although I probably wouldn't adjust these for me. They're probably about the right height for me. And um, another thing to take into account with this one, you have these 
um, straps that kind of go at the bottom of your chest. And you do need these. I think that makes a big difference having a strap around your middle because you don't want the weight to move. Um, but I have a 46 inch chest. It's not a massive chest, but obviously I, I, it's not a small chest either. And this particular um, weighted vest, it couldn't be um, adjusted for anyone with a bigger chest. Like I think if you had a 48 or 50 inch chest, you wouldn't be able to use the Velcro straps. Obviously, they're not that difficult to um, expand, but as they are stock or standard, I've got them is expanded as far as they will expand. So if you've got a much bigger chest than 46 inch, um, or if you're a woman with a, a larger chest, let's say, this probably won't work for you. And how it works, let me just show you, in the front there's a, um, there's a pocket and um, it comes with four of these plates and they are one kilogram or 2.2 pounds each. And so there's, um, how I've got it, I've got two in the front and two in the back, but obviously you could uh, have that any way you want. In fact, I think I'm going to start putting three in the back and one in the front. But yeah, so without the um, the metal plates, the uh, vest itself weighs six kilograms, three kilograms at the front and at the back. I don't know if it's sand or metal filings or what it is, um, but they're kind of inside the vest and you can't adjust that. So without the plates, it's six. And obviously you could put these in one at a time if you wanted to build up to it. For me, I'm fine with 10 kilograms, guys. And um, I've got some pretty decent digital scales at home and, and the weights are pretty accurate. I mean, you know, who cares if there are a few grams out here or there, it doesn't really matter, but um, they're, they're actually spot on. So when I've got the plates in with the vest and I jump on the scales, um, I mean, it's definitely 10 kilos, yeah? And um, the guy at the store said you can, you can up it to maybe 14. And um, that was something that was very interesting for me because I did put in um, <laughs> when I put, because I'd already been walking with like 10 or 11 kilos. I thought, oh yeah, I'll up it a bit. So I put in um, two of my own dumbbell weights. I think I put in two on the front and two on the back. So I lifted it to like 14 kilos. And guys, I put that on, and it was just I thought, there's no way I could walk 20,000 steps with this, which is quite amazing because obviously I've lost like 23 or 24 kilos or something since I started doing this walking. But I suppose the weight's kind of evenly distributed over your body. And then I thought to myself, well, if I'm being honest, the, the first couple of weeks when I was doing the 20,000 steps, I was huffing and puffing and sweating and, and hurting. And I think I told you guys in the first video I made, I mean, you guys can look back through the channel and look for 20,000 steps and you can see my progress. I mean, in the first uh, 30 days, I mentioned, especially for the first week, couple of weeks man I was getting home and I was aching and I was tight I was like just exhausted just wanted to go to sleep straight away um, I had blisters my ankles were sore my knees were sore um, it wasn't enough that it deterred me from doing it but I think I've spoken before I'm fucking determined you know when I start doing something I, I follow it through you know and I, I like I'm a bit ADHD about it I can't have a break day um, I have to do the 20,000 steps every day that's just how I am so yeah, so what, what's happened is obviously this is putting the weight back on and I'm kind of going backwards in terms of performance, right? So when I'm walking and doing my 20,000 steps, especially when I'm going uphill, I really feel like that breathing, that you know, that heavy breathing and having to kind of fight the urge to sit down and take a break, which is kind of the worst thing you can do because you want to keep... Sorry, I'll put my arm up because I've got my... Uh, my uh, it's not a thick bit, what is it? A me, a me bit, it's a jammy a me bit eight and uh, I like to keep my heart rate elevated so I'm getting that aerobic workout as well guys so that's what this weight of vest has given back to me you know it's given me back that kind of aerobic um, exercise aspect of the thing um, I've saw I've seen some people on the internet say you shouldn't um, put on more than 10% of your body weight Listen, that's up to you. I, I think you can, not a problem. So this is really right now something around 10% of my body weight extra. But I do intend um, in a few weeks, I want to get it up to 15. 
and I'd really, really love to think that in a couple of months I can get it up to 20 kilos, guys. That's what I want to be carrying extra. But I may well, depending on how the vest performs long term, I may well um, think about maybe some wrist weights or some ankle weights just to distribute that weight a bit more. And then obviously you've got things like, um, uh, let me get to one disadvantage of a vest over um a normal backpack like a rucking backpack is obviously there's not really much space in these pockets they're pretty flush to the thing I mean you could fit in like your phone and your car keys and obviously stuff like that but I still end up carrying a small backpack for things like water and stuff like that so obviously your water is um, another way like if you're carrying say two liters of water let's say that's an extra two kilos right there isn't it I kind of don't include that too much because I've kind of always been carrying that when I go on my walk. So um, I don't really count it as extra weight, but it is something just to think about that, you know, the reality is if you're carrying three or four liters of water in your backpack, that's an extra four kilos. What's very funny is I said this to my youngest son yesterday and he said, oh, but on the way, what if you drink it? Then your weight's gone down, hasn't it? And uh, we have to forgive him. I always say he's got a future in PR, my younger son. He's a good-looking kid and he's uh, very friendly, but um, occasionally <laughs> some of these kind of IQ-type problems uh, go past him a bit. I'm not sure. I don't think it's because he can't do them. I think it's because he's uh, just a bit lazy mentally. But, yeah, anyway, obviously, uh, if you drink the water, you're still carrying the weight, guys, right? And um, as I think I've mentioned to you guys in videos before, when it comes to carrying weight and stuff, we never think in too much precision anyway, because getting up and having a big poo or, um, you know, drinking a litre of water or any of these kind of things will make your weight fluctuate. It can be up to a kilo or even more either way. Um, you know, you sit down, have a bowl of, bowl of muesli with some milk, a cup of tea, and then drink a litre of water and then get on the scales. You think, oh my God, what happened? We know what happened, right? Don't ask my son Matthew. He may think it's a mystery. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, this is uh, the weighted vest. Yeah, as it stands for me right now, this is really a very, very good uh, solution to getting out of this plateau. Um, I, you know, I have obviously haven't had had it long enough to notice anything on the weight, the front, but um, I can tell by the. Uh, extra aerobic energy that I've expended that it's going to work, you know. And if nothing else, it's meaning that my uh, course on increasing my fitness is still going in the right direction, guys. So, yeah. So, anyway, um, listen. Um, if you're using a device like this or if you're rucking and what do you think of the relative uh, pros and cons of the kind of thing, like I think this is a good thing. No point coming at me in the comments and telling me why it's bad to use weighted vests and bad to ruck. Listen guys, I, I, I like doing this and this is what I like to do. I like pushing myself. I know some of you have said um, in the past you wouldn't do something like this because you enjoy your walking. I still enjoy my walking. I mean, if anything, um, doing these steps and pushing myself and like walking with, um, you know, walking with uh, purpose and... Um, you know, making it more difficult for myself, walking up hills and things like that. It's actually making me love walking even more, you know. It's, it's such a big part of my day and I just love it. And the dogs are happier. They're getting out for many more walks than they used to. They were always being well walked, but they're getting out even more. And I'm just absolutely loving it. So, um, you know, for me, it's, it's perfect, guys. So check this out. I'll put a link in the show notes for you guys. And um, as always, if you like this type of content and you're new around here, please consider uh, subscribing. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Muito obrigado, amigos. Ciao. Oh, and get out there and do some walking, guys. Listen, if I can do this, you can do it too. I know it's cheesy, but I really mean that. Ciao.